Well, right now, five national and international organizations that um, uh, majorly affect African Americans are being led by people who have ties to Mississippi. They are being dubbed the Fab Five. WJTV 12's Candace Coleman unpacked with them how life in the Magnolia State impacts leadership across the country and world. To understand the world, you must first understand a place like Mississippi. One of William Faulkner's most renowned quotes is a testament to the Mississippi Fab Five. You have NAACP President Derek Johnson, National Baptist Convention President Dr. Jerry Young, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated International President Dr. David Marion, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated International President Dr. Glenda Glover, and National Black Caucus of Local Elected Officials President-elect Dekeitha Stamps. A common denominator in the mission of all of the organizations is improving the lives of African Americans. What we're trying to do is is to make sure that through our churches and through our denomination that we become a catalyst for economic development within the context of African American community. Well, Omega Psi Phi uh, gives millions of dollars and, and, the, and the emphasis is on millions of dollars f in scholarships. For the state of Mississippi, if you look at electoral participation, it is our goal to increase the number of African Americans who vote during off-year elections. What does their rise to leadership in their respective organizations say about Mississippi? We already know how to do a lot with a little bit. We are able to address uh, what's taking place across the nation because we've experienced it. If you're born in Mississippi, and one of the things you learn right away is, is work ethic. While the Magnolia State struggles have toughened its people, ambassadors are left with a big task. They seem to always be in some sort of time warp where when you say Mississippi, they automatically think of the 1960s and 1950s. When I ran for president, <laughs> there were four other persons running for the office. Someone started uh, with this. We are not going to elect anybody who resides in the state of Mississippi to lead our convention because Mississippi is a backward state. The leaders are using their local platforms to inspire younger generations of Mississippians to aim high and their national platforms to make it easier for them to do so. There is genius and there are giants in Mississippi and that the world is going to have to contend with those giants. In Mississippi, Candace Coleman, WJTV 12. And a lot of talented folks that have come out of Mississippi, uh, you know, you can go down a whole list of people. Absolutely. And they seem like they understand Mississippi, as William Faulkner said. Most definitely. <laughs>